everybody. I am here today to share a special story with you. Um, today is Easter, so I want to say Happy Easter, Happy Resurrection Day. Um, I was asked to do this video. Um, it's the story of Jesus um, dying on the cross and the whole Easter story. Um, so I want to share it with you and I have a little help. These little guys right here, they're going to be helping me out. These little eggs, they're going to be helping me out. They have some surprises in them that are going to help me tell the story of Easter to you. Okay. So here we go. Um, the first egg we are going to look in is this blue egg. And this blue egg has something in it. And I'm going to show you what it is. You'll see that. It's a little donkey. And you're probably thinking, what in the world is there a little donkey in the Easter story for? But I'm fixing to tell you. It all started when Jesus came into Jerusalem. Okay? And he rode on this, not this donkey, but he rode on a donkey into Jerusalem. He told his disciples to go and find him a donkey, and they did. They ended up finding a very young donkey. Um, it was a baby that had never been ridden by anyone. And usually when a donkey has never been ridden by someone, they're kind of wild and they might move around and they probably don't want anyone riding on them because they don't even understand what that's all about. But Jesus specifically asked for a young donkey and he got one. But guess what? When Jesus sat down on that donkey, the donkey was calm and he was not upset. He let Jesus get on his back and he rode him into town. Um, which was really amazing. So they rode into Jerusalem together. And when they got to Jerusalem, there was people waiting. And I'm going to show you this picture, if you can see it. There's Jesus on the donkey. See, there, there's people there. And those people were so happy to see Jesus. They knew exactly who he was. They knew he was the son of God. They knew he was the king. And they, he came in and they would say things like, Hosanna and hallelujah, praise the Lord, the king, he's coming. And to show their excitement um, for Jesus, they put down palm leaves, palm tree branches, palm leaves, and, and their red clothing um, or any clothing to kind of pave the way for him like a red carpet because he was important and they knew he was. So after we learn about the donkey, we are going to the light pink egg and we're going to see what's in it. I don't know if you can see it, but there's money some coins and you're probably thinking well what in the world is their coins doing in the Easter story and I'm fixing to tell you so these coins remind us of the story of a man named Judas who knew Jesus and he was one of Jesus's disciples he traveled with Jesus he he listened to Jesus preach um, he was told the truth always he always heard it from Jesus but Judas really liked money, okay? And so Judas went to um, the big guys in town and told them that if they would pay him money, that he would tell them where Jesus was so that they could arrest him. Because that's what those big guys wanted to do. They were not nice. They didn't like Jesus. Um, they didn't like that he preached about God. They didn't like that he preached 
that he was the son of God. They didn't like that. And so they wanted to get rid of Jesus. So Judas told them if, if they would give him money, he would tell them where he went. And sure enough, they gave him a sack of coins and he told them where Jesus would be at what time so that they could find him. Um, and that wasn't very right of Judas to do. He pretty much sold Jesus out and, and we don't, and we don't need to do that. We, you know, we need to share Jesus and we need to share his love for everyone and the story of Easter, but he sold Jesus out because he was greedy and he wanted money, but it was all part of the plan. So here we go to the next one. The next color is light purple. Okay. And I hear something. All right, let's see what's in this one. When Jesus and his disciples made their trip into Jerusalem that night, look at this. Can you see what that is? It's a cup, very tiny cup. But that cup is to remind us about the Last Supper that Jesus had with his disciples. So they all got together um, the night before Jesus was arrested or the night of that Jesus was arrested and they had their last supper together and Jesus told them that this cup what they were drinking out of it um, was called wine in the Bible but it wasn't the kind of wine we think of it was different but it was kind of like red juice or purple juice and they um, drank of the cup and they all shared this one cup, okay? And Jesus told them that, that the, the wine in the cup, the drink in the cup, was to remind them of the blood that he was going to shed for our sins on the cross, okay? While they were at the Last Supper, they also broke bread and ate together and he told his disciples that the bread represented or was like his body that was going to be broken and beaten um, and hurt when he died on the cross. He was telling them all the things that were to come. He's told them this before, but he was telling them again because it was their last supper together that they shared. They went up into a room, just them, and they had communion together. They had the Lord's Supper together, okay? Next is an orange egg. Can't hardly hear that one, there it is. Okay, so let's see what's in this orange egg. What is that? Can you see? Those hands are praying, okay? We talk about prayer sometimes, right? That's how we talk to God, that's how we can ask him for help or just talk to him about our day or just thank him for our blessings is praying hands okay and these praying hands are here to remind us that the night that jesus was arrested and caught by the bad guys um he prayed he went up in a very secret place for him and he prayed he prayed to god he prayed to his heavenly father who was god and he had talked to God and he asked him that if there was any way for this dying on the cross to be different, to let it happen. Because Jesus knew it was going to hurt. He knew it was going to be a long, hard time and he knew he was going to suffer. And you know, he was part human at that point. He was human at that point. And, and he, um, he was scared, you know, but he also told God that even though I know that this is going to hurt and that it's going to be hard and it's going to be a long, um, experience, a long ordeal. I will do your will, Father. He did it anyways because he knew that he 
loved me and you and everybody in this world enough that he wanted to give himself for our sins on the cross and die for our sins because we couldn't pay that price because we are sinners. Jesus, he is, he was perfect. He was the only perfect lamb, perfect one to be able to sacrifice for our sins. And it's, the Bible says he prayed so, so, so hard and he cried so, so hard. The Bible says Jesus wept. They said, it says he cried and he, and he prayed so hard that his sweat turned into blood because he was, he could just feel what he was about to experience and he could just feel what he was about to go through and he was praying for strength and he still did it for us. He still said, God, I will go. All right. So the next egg that we see is a green egg, okay? I'll see what's in it. All right, here we go. Y'all see that? It's a whip. It's a replica or a little picture of a whip. And let me tell you about this whip. The whip was part of what they did to Jesus before they put him on the cross. Okay, so the bad guys came. <laughs> um, the bad guys came. They arrested Jesus. He did not break any laws, but they, they were arresting him because he was preaching that he was the son of God. Um, and they arrested him, and they took him to jail that night. And while he was there, they ended up doing some really bad things to Jesus. They whipped him in his back, his legs, his just whatever they could get to. Um, they made fun of him. They spit in his face. They pulled, they plucked the hairs of his beard, which hurt. You ever had your hair pulled? It hurts when that happens, but they did that to Jesus. They, they plucked his beard. They made fun of him. They mocked him. Um, they, they hit him with the whip. They punched him. They beat him up. They did terrible, awful things to him. Terrible, awful things to them, to him. Um, and still Jesus never stopped them. He never said anything back to them. Um, he turned the other cheek, so to speak, um, because he knew that he had to do this for us. Because if Jesus would not have done this for you and me, we would be going to hell because we're sinners and, and we do bad things. Sin is bad things that we do. And God knew he had to save us. He sent Jesus, his son down to do it. Um, which Jesus was in, it was God in human form. Um, but he was, his name was Jesus. And so he did all of that for us still because he loved us so much. Now the next egg that I'm going to tell you about is yellow. Okay. And this is going to kind of go back a little bit in our story, but it comes next. So I'm going to show you what's in it. You can see it. See that? What is that? It's a rooster, right? So let me tell you about this rooster, okay? So back when Jesus was talking to his disciples, there was a disciple named Peter, okay? And Peter was really strong. And Jesus was talking to him. And he told Peter that whether Peter thought it or not, that he would, Peter, would deny Jesus three times before the rooster crowed, okay? The rooster usually crows in the morning, right? Sometimes they crow other times a day, <laughs> but usually they crow in the morning to let you know it's time to get up. And so Peter told, or Jesus told Peter that he would deny him three times. And Peter said, Jesus, no, no, I will not. I will never, I will never deny you. And deny means 
act like he didn't know Jesus. He's like, I will never act like I didn't know you, Lord. You, I love you. You're my, you're my Lord and Savior. You're Jesus. I'm, you know, I would never do that to you. But guess what? Jesus knows it all. He knows everything. God knows everything. And, and, and he knew that Peter was going to deny him and act like he didn't know him. So here's what happened. Once Jesus got arrested, Peter was in the middle of all these people. And a woman looked at him and said, hey, I know you, you, you know that Jesus guy. You, you, you walk with him. You know what, Peter? He said, no, I don't know that man. I do not know Jesus. I don't know who you're talking about. And he ran, he quickly ran away. So there was one time that he denied Jesus. Okay. He pretended like he didn't know him. And then another time someone else saw him in the road or somewhere there in the tent, in the city. And they said, Hey, you're, you're one of Jesus's disciples. I've seen you. And you know what he started doing? He started talking ugly. He started saying ugly, mean words to make people think that, how would I know that Jesus person if I'm talking like this? He was saying ugly words, ugly words. And he was talking real mean. And so that was the second time that he denied or pretended that he didn't know Jesus. And then there was a third time that someone spotted him and they recognized him and they said, you, you're one of those people that have been with Jesus. Hey, he, he knows Jesus, but guess what? The third time he said, I don't know that man. I don't know any Jesus you speak of. So three times and guess what happened? The rooster crowed and Jesus told him earlier in the day that rooster's gonna crow three times and you're going to have denied me. And Peter said, no, Lord, I would never do that. But he did because Peter was scared. He was scared that if people knew he knew Jesus and, and was with Jesus, that they would kill him too. They would arrest him and hurt him and kill him. And that's why he acted like he didn't know Jesus because he, he was scared. Okay. So here's the next one. It's light orange. This one might be a little hard to show you. I don't know. Can you see that? Oh, wait, we can see that good. Okay, this here is to remind us about the crown of thorns. Okay, there's really sharp thorns all over that. Now, when they were doing all that mean stuff to Jesus, um, they also, like I told you before, they were being mean to him and they were calling him names and they were picking on him. And they ended up putting a crown of thorns on his head because if he, they said, if you say you're the king of Jews, then you need a crown. So they went and they got him a crown of thorns. Now, crown of thorns is not the kind of crown you want. A crown of thorns is something that will hurt. Um, have you ever touched a thorn maybe on a bush or stepped on a sticky bush outside in the yard? That's what kind of like a thorn is. And this crown was full of thorns. And they took the crown of thorns and they put it on Jesus's head and they pushed it down with a, a pole. And those thorns just dug into Jesus's head and his skin and they made him bleed so remember i said they whipped him they they punched him they beat him they hurt him they laughed at him they spit on him they plucked his beard and they also put this crown of thorns on him to make fun of him being the king of jews which they didn't believe he was but he is and it hurt it hurt him these this crown of thorns hurt him and i forgot to show you all the pictures of the rest but there's a picture of it right there so they put a crown of thorns on Jesus's head and still Jesus, it was hurting him. He was hurting. Um, the Bible says when they got done hurting Jesus and beating him up and doing all the mean stuff to him that you could not even recognize him. He didn't even look like a person anymore. He was bloody and 
had lots and lots of wounds and boo-boos all over him and he just you couldn't even recognize him so and then we go on to the light green egg okay so here we go y'all see that it's a cross and it's made of one two three nails Okay, so here's the story of the cross. Story of the cross. So when they got done doing that to Jesus, they made Jesus carry his cross up a big tall hill called Golgotha. There's Jesus, he's trying to hold his cross up, but he's bleeding and he's hurt, he's tired, he hasn't ate anything, he hasn't had anything to drink. And he just could not carry that cross up the hill. So they ended up finding a man named Joseph of Arimathea. And he, I believe that was who his name was. But anyways, this man came and he carried Jesus's cross for him. He helped him. Wasn't that nice of that man? Because Jesus couldn't carry that cross anymore. He was just hurting and he was tired and he was weak. And that man carried that cross up for him and then once they got up on that hill they put Jesus up on the cross okay they they stretched one arm out here and one arm out here like this and then they put his feet together and they put a nail in his hands each of his hands and a nail in his feet three nails and those are the things that kept him up on the cross that that held him up on the cross um, again it hurt could you imagine? Have you ever stepped on something sharp? It hurts when you do that. Well, they put those nails in Jesus' hands and feet. And they lifted him up on that cross and he was hurting. He would have to push himself up to breathe because he couldn't breathe hardly. So they had him up on that cross for a long time. A long time. And he was everyone just sitting there watching him up on that cross and it was a very sad time okay um and here's our next egg it's purple and i'm going to show you what's in it you can see it it's the shape of a spear okay it's got a sharp end on it like a spear would so when Jesus was on the cross and he got done um, dying on the cross after all the pain he went through, um, the soldiers were fixing to take him down off of the cross. Now, usually what they would do is they would, any bad guys or thieves um, that um, they would put on the cross, usually. That's where thieves and people who stole things, murdered. That's what they would, that was their punishment was the cross. Jesus never did any of that stuff, but they just didn't like Jesus. They didn't like what he preached, even though he preached the truth. Usually they would um, break the people's legs on the cross before they would bring them down. Well, they did not do that to Jesus. And in the Bible, back a little ways, it actually said he will not be any broken bones on him. And he didn't. But instead, they took that spear and they wanted to make sure that Jesus was really, really was dead. Because Jesus had told the people for a long time that he was going to die on the cross. And in three days, something was going to happen and he was going to come back to life. And the soldiers, the Roman soldiers, wanted to make sure that didn't happen. So they were going to make sure that Jesus was dead as, could, as he could be. And they took the spear and it was very sad. They put it in his side. Um, poor Jesus had bled so much that there was nothing left in him but water. It was very bad. Um, and I know it's kind of gross to talk about all this stuff, but I think it's important that we all know the truth of what Jesus did for us on the cross. Because that should have been us, but he took our place. So after Jesus was taken down off the cross, he was, he was dead and, um, and they took him down, and this is our next egg to help with the story. It's a light blue egg. I'm going to show you what's inside of it. 
it's just a white cloth okay see it and the white cloth is there to remind us that when Jesus was taken down off the cross they wrapped his body in white linen a white cloth um, and they put him in a grave okay so that's what the white cloth reminds us of um, there was also another man that Jesus didn't have anything he didn't have a home or a car they didn't have cars back in the Bible he didn't have anything much um, and he didn't have a place to be buried um, some people would look at him as maybe like a homeless person, like we would look at a homeless person these days. Um, he had he had no home. He, he never had a house. But there was a man named Joseph. There was lots of Josephs in the Bible. Um, that was actually Jesus's earthly dad was Joseph. But anyways, that's another story. Um, uh, he let him borrow the grave that he had. So they wrapped Jesus' body and they put him in the grave. And we're almost done, so hang out with me. I know it's been a while. Here's our next egg. Ooh, you might like this one. You see that? It's a rock. It's a little stone. Smooth. I love throwing stones in like the creek or the, the, the pond. There's a pond behind me. We like throwing sticks in it. And that stone is there to remind us about Jesus's grave okay so here's the stone all right so they took Jesus they put him in the tomb and they rolled a stone over the tomb okay and I'm gonna show you a picture of it so you kind of see it all right now there's something special on this picture they rolled that stone in front of the grave, in front of the tomb that Jesus was laid in, okay? And Jesus was in there all night. And then suddenly, one t at one point, um, these women came to visit his grave, and they came to his tomb. But guess what? You see that? The stone was rolled away. This is the best part. The stone was rolled away. And there was an angel on top of the stone. See him right there? And the Roman soldiers fainted. They didn't know what to think. And the angel told the ladies, the ladies saw the angel and they were kind of scared. They were like, oh my goodness, what is that? What is that being on there? And it was an angel. And you know what the angel said? He said, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Jesus has risen. And, and they said, Jesus has risen? And guess what? This is the last egg. Okay, this is the best part. Do you see that? Nothing's in there. Because Jesus was not in the grave anymore. It was empty. His body was not there anymore because guess what? He rose again. He was alive. And that is why we celebrate Easter. It's the Easter story because Jesus died on the cross. He went through all that pain and that suffering for you and for me, for everybody. And he's alive because he told us in the Bible that he was going to come back from the dead. He was going to overcome death, the grave, all of it, sin. And three days later, that's what happened. He rose again. He rose again. He was not there anymore. So that is awesome news because that's why you can trust that Jesus is in heaven preparing a place for you to live one day with him. He went back to heaven to do that. And he's real and he hears every prayer you pray. And, and he, he, he's real. He creates miracles every day. He blesses us every day. He is alive. Okay? And he did all of that for you and me. So that one day, we can accept him as our Savior. Believe 
that he was God's son, only son, and God sent him down to this earth. He was, Jesus was God's only son. He was perfect. He died on the cross for you and me because we couldn't do it. We couldn't die for our sins. We couldn't die for the bad things that we do because we're not perfect. But Jesus, he's perfect. He was perfect. And he was the, the greatest, most magnificent sacrifice because he was perfect. And he took all of our bad things and he forgave us of them. But we have to accept and we have to ask Jesus to come into our hearts to live in our lives, to be saved. And when we believe in him and believe that he died on the cross for us because we couldn't do it, because we're not perfect and he is, that's when you get saved and you will go to heaven one day when it's time to go home. When, when we die, we're gonna go to heaven one day if we have Jesus in our heart, okay? So I hope, I know it was a little long, I hope that you enjoyed the video. I love resurrection eggs. It's gonna look backwards, but there it is. I enjoyed, I had fun doing them with you. And I hope you have a happy, happy Easter and a happy resurrection day. And who knows, maybe I'll see you again soon, okay? I love y'all. Have a great day, bye.